Today I've taken a day trip to Chesterhover. It's about two and a half hours from Warsaw by train, not too bad. Now this city is one of the holiest in the whole of Poland. Behind me is the Jasna Góra Monastery. And wow, I've just been inside and it is immense. Um, I couldn't see everything because it's flooded with people and there are a lot of masses going on today. But what I'm actually on now, you see behind me, it's a very, very long avenue. The uh, Virgin, the Holy Virgin Mary Avenue. And here, people will walk up to the monastery and apparently millions of people come here each year. So I'm going to try and tell you a little bit about this city as I go through. I didn't know what to expect really before I came but wow this place is immense and the weather wow it's been lovely today. So please join me on my journey. Let's start today's journey on the Avenue of Chesterhova. Now this is two kilometers long and built in 1818 and designed by Jan Bernhard. It actually was built to link the old and new Chesterhova and contains many representative buildings and burger tenements. This is St. James's Square. And you'll notice that there are quite a few random benches with various historical figures that are relevant to the place. Now, this was quite a lovely area, quite nice to walk, lots of uh, bars and restaurants and, and things along the way. Uh, I actually stopped for breakfast um, at a place I kind of found online called uh, Dobra Rock and yeah, the service was nice, uh, the food was, was nice. I, I started a, out with a, an early beer and looking at my various guides, which I picked up from the information office. And I have to say, the guy behind the desk at the information office was amazing. He really made a strong effort to uh, make sure that I was well acquainted with what there was to see. <laughs> I was probably in there for about 20 minutes while he was showing me various things on the map and pointing out various places. I then took a bit of a trip down uh, Park Statchik and this was a lovely, nice place. And I made an attempt to go to the, the Museum of Ore Mining or the Museum uh, Gornitsva Rud Jalava, Jalaza v Chesterhove which is um, basically a museum paying tribute to the iron ore industry. There's also something of like a, a kind of observatory there. Uh, sadly, wasn't open at the weekend. I'm not sure what's open anymore. Uh, with the museum, it was all in Polish and I had to buy a ticket round the corner from a ticket office in cash. This is something to note. There is a lot of there are a lot of places in Chesterhova where they will only accept cash. Not everywhere, but I would be prepared. There are actually quite a few museums uh, in in this city. I, I didn't really get a chance to visit that many. I skipped ones like the matchmaking one. Now, of course, Yasnogora is the big attraction of the city and this is 
certainly visible from most points in the city. Um, it was founded in 1382 uh, by a Polish prince, Ladislaus, but I, I believe there are some kind of arguments about perhaps who founded it. Uh, it's actually a, like a pilgrimage destination for hundreds of years um, from the 15th century. And as I said earlier, you know, millions of people will come to visit this, uh, particularly on certain important dates. One significant thing in the history is it was fortified and actually held out against the Swedes uh, in 1655. Now, this was a very important symbolic victory for Poland. And the mother of Jasnogora was made queen after this by King John Casimir. And thus it became a throne. Now, one of the most famous uh, things this is uh, really stands out is the Black Madonna. Now, this is a painting uh, depicting the, the Virgin Mary holding the child, Jesus Christ. It's said, though there's a lot of contention, that it, it was likely created in the second half of the 8th century up in the Baltics. And it's been kind of renovated a bit over the years. Um, so it's actually kind of now a combination of Byzantian art uh, from the East and Latin from the West. And when it was kind of liberated to Poland, uh, it was entrusted to 16 Pauline monks that arrived from Hungary. And the painting is actually said to have uh, produced a few miracles as well. Now, you'll see some scars on the, the cheek, and apparently this came from a sacrilegious act by robbers in 1430. It actually damaged the painting quite a lot. So it was restored, but the scars were left as kind of a testament. And I have to say, yeah, you have to allow some time uh, for Yasnagora. It was very busy. As I said, I couldn't go in to see everything I wanted to see, including the the proper Black Madonna, but I did see pictures of it, I did see it on, up on the screen. But yeah, definitely you have to go here um, if you're going to this city. Now, sadly, uh, I read that there was a Bekstinski, um exhibition. It was cancelled in this particular gallery. I was a bit disappointed by that. So next I went to the town hall. Now, this was erected between 1828 and 1836, according to design of uh, Franciszek Reinstein. And it's actually the headquarters of the Museum of Czestochowa. And the museum itself, as well as uh, a lot of kind of archaeological artifacts, contains uh, a lot of Polish art, as well as some temporary exhibitions. And it, it, there were some nice translations in English, so it was uh, quite easy to follow and quite interesting to learn a bit about the local history there. I believe there are several branches of this museum kind of dotted throughout the region, so it's a must visit when you go. What I particularly liked uh, is when you get to the end, uh, you go up some rather long stairs and you have a wonderful panorama uh, from the rooftop observation tower. So I always like it to find these places in the cities where I can get a good view. And you certainly do. And it, it of course, highlights all the various things you can see or not see, depending on which uh, tenement blocks are blocking your way. Now, another thing are the murals. Wow, there are like 12 of these wall mur murals. Um, this one... There is uh, the longest wall mural in the world, I've been told. And that one is the Tower of Babel. I didn't get to see all of them, I didn't have time, but it's worth hunting them out and you can find a nice little uh, guide to that. So, of course, there are so many churches. Like in a lot of Polish places, but I think this one was exaggerated. So, uh, this is St. Jacob's. And it was a lovely place. Uh, this was just a, a kind of evangelical church uh, that I spotted on the way. But the one I was told to see was this one, 
which is the parish of St. Wojciech. And this was actually built during the Soviet era. And it was a bit of a victory uh, for the Polish people because it was very hard to build anything in these times, uh, especially churches. And it had to be built from iron or steel, and that had to be procured from the government at the time. So it was actually quite a feat. And this last one is the uh, Basilica of the Royal Family. Okay, so this has been an interesting day. Um, so I kind of saw most of what I wanted to see in the center. And then I decided to go to this random church, which I'll tell you about elsewhere. This is all uh, on the advice of the, the tourist office. Um, then I'm starting to run out of time. So I got a bolt to this like miniature park. I didn't want the miniature park. I wanted the, uh, there's like a gorge. I'll show you pictures of that, which gives you a wonderful view of the city. And now I'm kind of racing off to a Jewish cemetery. Again, on the advice of uh, the tourist office, he's certainly all over the shop. I've done quite well, given I only really allowed a day here and I'm already wondering if I should get a later train. It's been surprising how much there is to cover. This place is a lot bigger than, you know, the internet tells you. Um, oh, this has been an adventure. I've gone down so many random, like, woodland paths, not quite sure where they'll lead, taking all these streets, the journey in the bolt to get here it was a nightmare. He had to turn around once because Google told him to basically go up a mountain. And then even when we took the detour around, it ended up taking him across these roads that, well, they were either in the middle of being repaired or date back some few hundred years and have been untouched. I think I've entered a very random part of the city, but it's, it's been a fun adventure, I can say that. So here you can see I made it to the gorge. Wonderful views uh, of the city. It, it was really uh, quite impressive up there. Uh, just watch your footing. If you get too close, you quite likely might fall over the side. Um, there were a lot of local teenagers just hanging out, having dates and things up there. Uh, I guess a nice isolated area. Perhaps not the easiest to get to. Um, my Uber dropped me off north of the <clears throat> Miniatures Museum, which uh, I only kind of briefly ventured into. And then when the owner showed up, and uh, sadly, I didn't have any cash. So I kind of uh, scarpered with my apologies. Um, <clears throat> and I found this very random statue of, I'm guessing, John Paul II, as most Pope statues are. Now, I finally made it to the Jewish Cemetery, and this was actually established in 1799, where the last burial took place in 1973. Now, some 2,000 gravestones have survived uh, to the modern day. But sadly, uh, during World War II, uh, there were numerous executions of Jews that took place in and around this area. As is characteristic of a lot of Poland, sadly, because of the Nazi occupation. But it was a very tranquil place, uh, very calm. I think I was the only one there. It's kind of a remote location, but I'd say it's worth the visit if you can get out that way. Now, after the cemetery, well, um, I didn't have any cash, so I wasn't going to get an Uber. Uh, but I decided to go for a walk. And it, it's about four kilometers or so. Uh, to get back into the town centre, so it was a bit of a trek after a day of walking in the hot sun. Luckily, I brought plenty of fluids with me, but by the end of it, my feet were raw, I have to say. But <laughs> it was worth it. 
uh, to get a, a lot of natural sights and to just really take it in. Now, this square is a must-see. So these uh, hanging uh, statues or balancing sculptures are the works of uh, Yerzi Akedziora. And he's a teacher at the art school complex here. But more importantly than that, he's kind of a world-renowned artist. And his works can actually be found in cities such as Bidgost, Berlin, Washington, all over the shop. Uh, so lovely uh, kind of artistic place. This is kind of uh, near, or is basically kind of the old square of the city. But I have to say, uh, I was surprised by Chesterhover. Um, I wasn't really expecting much except for a few churches, uh, maybe the odd museum. But it turned out to be a really lovely day. There were some nice restaurants, bars, uh, some very interestingly decorated buildings. And I honestly wish I'd sort of, uh, you know, splashed out for a hotel and I could have stayed the night because it would have been worth it. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this encourages you to take a visit to this fine city. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more content from my adventures, feel free to subscribe. Again, thank you for watching. Dovizenia.